Good morning, friends. Welcome to another studio vlog. If you don't know me, my name is Miss Bev and I am the owner and creator of Miss Bev Creates. I am a self-taught digital illustrator and a professional doodler. And in today's vlog, you're gonna be joining me as I create a retro typewriter. Now, I've done it before a couple years ago and they were a hit. And this time, I'm making them more uh, 2D, 3D. Uh, where you can feel the little buttons and the space bar and stuff like that. So, um, and the color is slightly a darker pink. I'm going to be making those from beginning to almost the end. I'm not going to finish the project in today's vlog, but we're pretty close to it. Um, we're going to go through a couple bumps and bruises. Um, almost a fail, but not quite. So I'm thankful for that. And then I'm also going to have you join me as I give you a sneak peek on my next project as well. Um, this past week, uh, in late June, I got an order, not an order, but someone ordered a, uh, digital print of one of my Christmas prints. And I'm thinking, why? It's late June and why are you buying Christmas stuff? So, you know, I don't know. I, hopefully maybe someday they'll tell me or show me what they did with it and they'll explain why they bought it in June might be a person who's thinking way ahead, right? Um, so I am starting to pick up tra traffic on my Christmas prints and Christmas digital items. So what I'm planning to do is one, in this next project that I'm working on, I'm gonna create the two couples in White Christmas and when they're dressed up in their army suits singing that song, gee, I wish I was back in the army. So I've been requested to do that. So I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I've done with it so far. But I'm also gonna be working on uh, printing, cutting, packaging my uh, bestseller um, White Christmas stickers um, of just generally the, the movie itself with stuff from the movie. Um, that, that those have been my bestsellers the past couple of years. And I'm going to start putting them for sale in August because if traffic is picking up on Christmas items, I'm thinking, you know, people like to do things ahead of time, plan ahead and start purchasing stuff ahead of time. I know there's people who shop year round for Christmas. I'm not one of them. I wish I was, um, but um, it might be uh, I might catch some of those people and come, they come to my shop and want to buy the Christmas uh, stickers. So I'm going to put them out in August, but uh, between now and then, I'm going to get them all ready uh, for August. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. Thanks for stopping by, friends. Take care and God bless, and we'll see you next time.
Well, I just took them out of the oven and I forgot to I'll videotape all that, but here's nine of them. I think that's what I'm gonna make for now. Not done, got several steps yet to take. I think I am gonna make them into pins. I did order the backing part. So I'm gonna wait for that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna clean them up with some rubbing alcohol and then um, um, file them, make the edges a little smoother. But also, um, I'm gonna use some UV, what is that stuff called? Anyway, to make it glossy, to make them glossy. I can't think of it right now. But getting there, friends, getting there. There is, right. there is, by the way, there is. Well, after all that work with the typewriters, I've messed up. Painting them with a black Sharpie was a mistake. And that was before I put on the resin because uh, they started to bleed. So I'm continuing on to apply the resin, but I guess I'm thinking that maybe hopefully the next one won't run or bleed, and then it does. And then I think, 
Or maybe the next one won't run and bleed. Well, it does. But I'm going to finish them. Lesson learned. About 10 minutes later, from the last time I talked with you, I have a brilliant idea. So what I went ahead and did, this is my resin. And it's got a pointy top where I can just squeeze as much as I want and it's coming out pretty quick. So what I did was I went ahead and just barely added some to all the black parts that I painted on the typewriter and brushed them in and um, now I'm putting them in the UV light to cure and hopefully um, that'll fix the problem with them running when I go back and redo the whole or cover the whole typewriter because right now all I have let me show you Here's one, um, I haven't resined yet, um, but the all the black parts have been touched up with black Sharpie as well as a Posca pen. What I'm doing right now is hopefully it's a good idea. I went and put resin on all the black parts and now I'm curing them in the UV light lamp and hopefully that'll fix the problem when I go back and uh, put resin in the pink and white areas because the problem I was having was that um, the the black ink from the Sharpie or Posca pen uh, was bleeding onto the white and pink and you could tell you could see it but maybe because I'm doing it this way where I, I um, once again I covered all the black with resin and now I have it under the UV lamp to cure and then when I go back and cover the pink and the white, the black won't run onto them, won't bleed onto them. So fingers crossed. Um, I've got four left to salvage and um, we'll see. So I'll show you later. Okay, friends, I took them out of the UV lamp. And remember, I only resined the black parts and look how cute they came out. They look adorable with just the black parts being shiny and that's really retro. But if I kept them like this, I'm just afraid that the buttons will fall off or something. I don't know. They're really cute like that can't really tell oh. let's see yeah okay see the black parts are shiny because they've been resined here's the other one see I don't know. It just doesn't feel right that the whole thing's not covered in resin. But they look adorable, just the black part being shiny. Because, I mean, isn't the resin used for protection? And if you got a, a scratch on it or a a smudge on it with something you could just wipe it down but this way if something were to get on the parts that aren't protected with the resin um, most likely it would not come off I think I'm going to go ahead and resin the whole thing now and hopefully prayfully it will the black part will not run now that it's been covered in resin and cured so hopefully it'll work so okay back to the drawing board I'll be back well friends I'm back and I'm glad to say that it did work out um, where I resined the black areas of the typewriter first 
put them under the UV lamp to cure and then I went back and resined the rest of it and it didn't bleed if it did it's just barely 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 it can tell the difference so um, here's uh, one that ran and I don't know if you can see it see it kind of looks purpley around some of the the keys on the keyboard that's that's where it bled and here's one that hasn't that didn't bleed so I was able to go back and fix it there's no smudges on the white but yeah see how you can tell put them side by side and you can see the difference this one's cleaner and this one's got some bleed in it so maybe I'll offer these as seconds but I'll, I'll make some more and I've learned my lesson so um, I'm going to take these now and put them in the sun and let them cure some more because I need to go take the dog for a walk and maybe to the park even if it is hot out he's so bored he, he, he needs some excitement in his life, bless his heart. So, okay. I'll talk to you guys later.